Hey, welcome back to New Day. You know, I have a feeling that some of you may be watching New Day from home right now, but you might also be remote working. Don't worry, I won't tell. I support this behavior, in fact. But as the pandemic starts to wind down, hopefully many of us are thinking about what the future is going to look like with remote working and going into work. So Jamie Teven is a chief scientist at Microsoft and has been studying the impacts of remote work. We've talked to you over Zoom many times, but this is our first time meeting in person, which is just such a celebration. We are so glad to have you here. Thank you. It's a treat. Oh, I have to say when we first spoke, it was just a time like no other. Yeah. We had never seen it before. So I just wanted to, to see kind of a recap of, of where we started to where we are. Yeah, I mean, it's something to remember what it was like mm -hmm. back in March 2020 and yeah. everybody was moving remote. So about a third of the US workforce shifted from in-person work to remote work Crazy. overnight. Um, wow. And yeah, just remembering what that was like. I remember sitting in back-to-back -back meetings all day Yeah. and having a much needed glass of wine. <laughs> Yes. And collapsing in bed and not knowing how, you know, it was hard. Like it was yeah. a whole new thing to figure out. It's hard to remember that because it now feels really natural yeah. to work remote. Like we figured out how to handle back to back meetings, uh, how to take like little short breaks between meetings, find time to right. grab a glass of water. Um, we figured out how to handle the transition mm -hmm. from work to home or home to work, even yeah. though we're not changing our location. <laughs> like, it was very mind bending. Yeah. It really was. How was the data this year compared to last year now look? Yeah, so um, the big thing that's starting to show up in the data now, because this has been something we've been studying really intensely mm -hmm. for the past two years, um, the big thing that's starting to show up now is some of this return to the workplace yeah. stuff. And um, we're understanding how people view hybrid, and to some extent, people are starting to do some hybrid work going into the office uh, sometimes. That's <laughs> good to hear. I have a lot of friends who work at uh, Amazon, Microsoft, and yeah. they their lives are now completely hybrid and, and yep. for the foreseeable future, which is amazing. So do you think that hybrid work is here to stay or do you think that maybe at some point we're gonna be back full time like we were back before the, the days of old? Um, you know, when we last spoke, if you had asked me that, yeah. I might have said, you know, it's hard, like there's the, the, the value of being in person mm -hmm. is really strong and it's what we're used to. Yeah. But we've got two years of learning under yeah. our belt about remote work. And there's a lot that we can bring forward with that and that we don't want to give up. I mean, you know, I don't want to give up days at home, not having to shower and wear a Yes, <laughs> preach on that one. Um, you know, I don't want to give up being the flexibility and being able to take my dog mm -hmm. for a walk in the middle of the day, but I also really want the connection. Like, it's nice to be yeah. here with you in person. It is. I remember you saying that, that one thing that stuck with me one of the times we spoke last year was that, you know, you don't really get that water cooler conversation, yeah. those really kind of spontaneous times when you can have that creativity. But I think with the hybrid, it might be both. In terms yes. of sustainable productivity though how have we has this kind of helped us learn how to avoid burnout in a way or or no because we're bringing it home <laughs> hmm. um, yeah well so we did see a lot of challenges around burnout and well-being as we were figuring out remote work but now yeah. that we're able to lean into those benefits yeah. um, we're seeing that there's a lot you can get from being at home and actually when you look at uh, employees 53% say they're valuing well-being and health yes. above work compa compared to before the pandemic. And so there's a really, you know, employees are bringing to work now this real interest in like, how do, how do I make work worth it? How do I yeah. make the time that I'm spending in the office worth it? How do I make what I'm doing at home worth it? And how do you make sure you stay connected when you're at home? Yeah, it's, you know, there's, it's hard to stay connected when you're at home. Uh, we have amazing digital tools that mm -hmm, help us mm -hmm. with this. It's great to have uh, remote meetings. We actually see people are doing a lot more spontaneous yeah. remote, uh, remote meetings, jumping on calls. I never would have imagined jumping on a Teams call just just randomly. Just for fun. But it does happen <laughs> now. Do. I, call, yeah. I call Susie all the time on Teams because yeah, yeah. maybe I can't get her on her cell, you yeah. know. But that's also what in person is for yes. as well is that opportunity. You know, I was at a um, small little gathering uh, on the Microsoft campus the other day, and just the number of random serendipitous connections that I had yeah. because we were sitting around talking was huge. Um, and actually, one of the things that we're seeing is you have to, like, 
going into the office mm -hmm. doesn't look the same as working from home. Yeah. So one of the challenges I had was um, on one of my first days back in, in the office, I, I showed up and I had a meeting, so I was that was online, remote, yeah. even though I was in the office. <laughs> of course, uh, <laughs> yep. of course. So I'm running down the hall to get to my computer so I can get on the meeting, and Sheila, who's a colleague of mine, like steps out in the hall and she's like, hi, Jamie. And I was like, Sheila. Oh, I love that. And I wanted to connect with her, but I was so intent on getting to my meeting that I'm yeah. like, I can't talk now, I gotta run. And like the whole reason I was in the office right. was to chat with her and not to go Join a remote That's meeting. That's a good point. So, how is how can we best make this work from home in the office hybrid work? Yeah, um, there's sort of three things that I'm thinking about for mm -hmm. myself that comes out of the data. Uh, one is to be really intentional about how you're working to make sure you're using in-person yes. time for connections and for brainstorming Sheila. for Sheila. Yes, and using the remote time for focus yeah. and flexibility. Um, the other one is um, actually really rethinking your schedule. So if you think about it, don't, don't have the same schedule or the same goals when you go into the office yeah. as when you're working remotely. Remote is good for your own work, your own yes. goals. Okay. In office is good for the stuff that other people you know, connecting with Sheila, doing that, so like investing in that. And then the third one is actually taking what's awesome about remote work and doing what you can to bring it into the office. Um, so I think about hybrid meetings, which people are starting to have now. When you're sitting in a meeting and you're in person, still log into Teams. Yeah. You have access to the meeting chat. You have people who are remote can raise hands. Like there's all these good things that we've had about remote work that we can still carry over oh my into goodness. in person. Thank you so much, Jamie, for taking the time. We so value your research. We have always valued your insight, and it's been a pleasure talking to you, and we're going to keep bugging you as we continue this journey. Thank you. It's my Thank pleasure. Thank you. <laughs>